Viewers have asked for more reviews. Here is a long-term review of the Arai X-T4 helmet used by one of our riders. This is arguably the best helmet for dual sport and adventure riding. We will cover two other options later that might suit you better. There have been no major changes since the Arai was introduced in 2012, but many argue it was so advanced they haven't had to update the helmet. What do we like about the X-T4? The overall quality is brilliant. Many manufacturers now rely on cheap Chinese manufacturing, but Arai is still handmade in Japan, and it shows. How many manufacturers give you a five-year warranty? It's very quiet. A big issue with cheaper adventure helmets is the wind noise, but the X-T4 has managed to keep noise levels very low. This is great news for riders who hate earplugs, but we would still recommend earplugs with this helmet for extended highway riding. See our video about hearing damage. The Arai has great ventilation given its quietness. There are vents for the chin, brow, the top of the head and for exhaust ports. These can be closed if needed. You can even adjust the chin vent to direct air upward or downward. Helmet standards. The Arai X-T4 complies with the European standard, which we think is the best of <laughs> the unfortunately mediocre standards available. Unfortunately, the Sharp testing group has not assessed this helmet yet. The EPS liner uses five different densities of foam to protect the rider from varying degrees of impact. The visibility is great. The eye port is very large and can even accommodate goggles, although you may need to remove the visor. There are five shell sizes. Cheaper helmets often have only three shell sizes, but adjust the thickness of the foam to suit. It has emergency releases for helmet removal after an accident. What don't we like about the Arai X-T4? Ah, zero complaints, except perhaps the price. Yes, you always need to pay for this level of quality, but there have been very few changes to the design in 10 years, and some argue Arai could possibly lower the price if they aren't developing a new model. Our rider was quite lucky to buy his XD4 for only 600 Australian dollars on special. I want to buy one and they are 900 dollars now. Dope! As usual, I googled around to see if other riders had complaints. It was hard finding anyone who had issues with the Arai. One rider complained about the weight. The medium size weighs 1.6 kilograms. Personally, I find this acceptable. Lighter helmets are invariably noisier, and there can be a trade-off with safety if the protective EPS shell is thinner to reduce weight. A few riders reported a whistle or humming sound from the helmet peak at speed. We couldn't detect this on our helmet. Riders who found this issue said they needed to adjust the peak position or add tape in various spots to prevent the sound. Another rider said the chin strap was too short and thinly padded. Eh, there were no issues with our helmet. What are some viable alternatives to the Arai X-T4? We won't include Chinese made helmets like the Bell MX-9 or the Climb Krios. We have seen too many issues with Chinese helmets in recent years. Another Japanese made helmet is the Shoei Hornet. The price is around the same as the Arai. It is a bit heavier, less ventilated, but even quieter. A good option in cooler climates or if you do a lot of highway riding. There is also the Schuber E1, possibly the quietest adventure helmet due to wind tunnel testing. These are made in Germany and are actually cheaper than the Japanese brands. There is not much ventilation though, and the Shuba is probably more designed for cold climates. What do you use for adventure and dual sport riding? Are you happy with your helmet overall? Do you think it's best to spend a lot on helmets? Keen to hear your thoughts.